Being able to distribute reports to key stakeholders in any business is a common requirement. Sage Intelligence takes the hassle out of saving and attaching files through its powerful distribution feature, allowing you to distribute report layouts from within Microsoft Excel. You can send your layouts via email, save them to a folder, or send them to an FTP server. Distribution instructions can also be set up once and reused across all your reports. In this video, we'll take you through the process of setting up your distribution and sending your reports. The distribution feature is provided for all your reports that are in the Report Manager, so to access it, run out one of your reports. In this example, we'll use the Report Designer. Once the report is loaded into Excel, click on BR Tools on the ribbon. You'll see your distribution icons under the Distribution group. These include Send Now, Select Instructions, Manage Instructions, and Distribution Settings. To set up distribution, we'll need to work in reverse order, so the first thing to do is choose your distribution settings. Click the Distribution Settings icon. Email is one of the distribution types provided by Sage Intelligence, but in order to use it, a mail server needs to be selected. When the distribution settings window opens, you will see that you have two options available to you. Use my Outlook profile and use an SMTP or Exchange server. If you use Microsoft Outlook, then select the first option. Your current Microsoft Outlook profile settings will be used. If you don't use Outlook, or if this option isn't preferable, then use the SMTP or Exchange Server option. You'll need to talk to your IT department to get the right settings. You could also enter the details of a public SMTP server. Once you're done, click OK to close the window. The next step is to create your distribution instructions. To do this, click the Manage Instructions button. A distribution instruction lets you choose the people or destination that you'd like to send your reports to and is where the options to send via email, save to a folder, or send to an FTP server are found. You can also create more than one instruction in case you have different distribution requirements. Any distribution instructions that you've already set up will be listed in the Manage Distribution Instructions window. And here, you can add a new one, edit an existing one, delete, and also rename one. Let's take a look at the options available to you by adding a new instruction. Click Add and enter a name for your instruction, and then click OK. The distribution instruction window will open. You can use any combination of options for your instruction. To enable an option, check the box near the top of the tab. Once checked, you'll see the fields become available for you to enter information. Let's first take a look at the fields for email distribution. Like any other email, you'll need to add at least one email address for the recipient in the To field. You also have the options to send a carbon copy and a blind carbon copy. If your email profile includes an address book, then you can use the buttons to the left to access your contacts. You can enter a subject line and a body for your email and use the formatting options provided to give the body some character. You'll need to enter a name for your report. The name is assigned to the report, which is added to the email as an attachment. There are also a number of formats available to send the attachment as. These are XLSX, XLS, MHTML, and PDF. Depending on the format chosen, the option Distribute each worksheet as separate documents will be made available. The last thing to know is that you can add cell references from your layouts to any of the text fields in the Email tab, including the address fields, subject line, body, and file name. To do this, right-click on the field you would like to add a reference to, and then select Insert and then Cell Reference. Click the Excel cell that you would like to include and then click the Expand Dialog button. Use the Preview Cell References button at the bottom of the tab to see the values that will be populated when the report is sent. This is useful, for example, if you'd like to summarize the information from a layout in the body of your email. Now let's have a look at the File Publish option. Remember that you'll need to click the Enable checkbox to use it. File Publish lets you save your report to a folder. This could be a folder on your hard drive or on a shared network drive. You can also use this option to save to cloud storage 
for example, by saving to a OneDrive folder linked to your computer. Use the Browse button to search for the folder you would like to save your file to. You will need to enter a file name, which is the name that your report will be saved as. Then, like with email distribution, you have the options to select the format you would like to use and to distribute each worksheet as separate documents. Lastly, let's look at FTP distribution. FTP distribution allows you to save your file to an FTP server. Once again, you will need to enable this option to use it. For FTP distribution, you will need to enter the details of the FTP server you would like to save your report to, including the server name and port number to use, as well as the username and password. You may need to get these details from your IT department. Once you have entered these details, you will need to enter a name for your report. Your report will be saved on the FTP server with this name. Then, finally, select the format you would like your report saved as and decide whether you want to distribute each worksheet as a separate document. Once you have set up the options for your instruction, click OK to save it. I've set up another instruction, which we're now going to look at, so I'm going to close the window. The instruction that I've created uses file publishing to save my income statement layout to a folder on my desktop. You can see that I've chosen the reports folder on my desktop, have named my report monthly income statement, used .xlsx as my file format, and have chosen to send my report as a single document. The next step is to select your distribution instructions. Here, you select the instructions you would like to use with the report you are currently in and add the specific worksheets you would like to send to those instructions. These selections are saved with the Excel template, which needs to be linked back to the report in the Report Manager in order for them to persist. When you click on Select Instructions, the window opens and you'll see all of the distribution instructions that you've already set up under Available Instructions on the left of the window. To select an instruction, click on it and then click the right arrow to add it to the Instructions in Use list. Now select which worksheets you'd like to send as part of the instruction. I only want to send the income statement, so I'm only going to select that worksheet. If you need to remove an instruction, select it under Instructions in Use and click on the left arrow. If you plan to distribute your reports according to a schedule using a scheduler command, you will need to check the box at the bottom of the window. Click OK. The final step is to send your reports. You can send your reports at any time by clicking Send Now on the BR Tools tab. This will carry out all of the instructions that were added under Select Instructions. In our example, the report is sent to the Reports folder on the desktop. And as you can see, only the income statement that we selected is included. Remember that if you would like your selected instructions to be there the next time you run out your report, you'll need to use the Save Excel Template option in the Report Manager. You can also schedule your reports to be distributed at regular intervals using a scheduler command and the Windows Task Scheduler. We'll show you how in another video in this series. To view other videos in this series, go to youtube.com slash sageintelligence. Also, connect with us at sageintelligence.com and sageintelligencecommunity.com or view our online courses at sageintelligenceacademy.com. Just to let you know, we love feedback. So if you found this video useful, please like it and share it on your social media channels.